Hello, and welcome to Getting It Done, a podcast about music, education, and life lessons. I'm your host, Tim Rausenberger, and today is Thursday, June 20th, 2019. This is episode 288, Feeling Pretty Good. How are you? How was your day? How are you feeling? What's the most common response we receive to any of those three questions? Good. How are you? Good. How was your day? Good. How are you feeling? Good. I decided a long time ago I needed to stop saying that word in response to those questions. I was going to be different. So when people would ask me, how are you? I'd say, pretty good. How are you feeling? Pretty good. How's your day going? Pretty good. And that all ended five years ago. A music colleague I have a tremendous amount of respect for. She asked me one of those questions and I said, pretty good. And she responded by saying to me, go on to the internet and I want you to type in pretty good poem. So I did. And what came up was a poem written by American radio and television personality Charles Osgood. Ironic, huh? Osgood, of course, was on CBS for over two decades. Not just known for being a great commentator on the air, but his prolific writing. And the poem I'm about to read for you, I hope, is going to make you reconsider ever saying good or pretty good. Hopefully you'll think about saying things like great, fantastic, excellent. After all, that's how I truly do feel every day because I'm so blessed to have the opportunity to live another day And I think just waking up gives us the chance to do something special. Here is Charles Osgood's poem, Pretty Good. There once was a pretty good student who sat in a pretty good class and was taught by a pretty good teacher who always let pretty good pass. He wasn't terrific at reading. He wasn't a whiz bang at math, but for him, education was leading straight down a pretty good path. He didn't find school too exciting, but he wanted to do pretty well. And he did have some trouble with writing since nobody taught him to spell. When doing arithmetic problems, pretty good was regarded as fine. Five plus five needn't always add up to be 10. A pretty good answer was nine. The pretty good class that he sat in was part of a pretty good school. 
And the student was not an exception. On the contrary, he was the rule. The pretty good school that he went to was there in a pretty good town. And nobody there seemed to notice he could not tell a verb from a noun. The pretty good student, in fact, was part of a pretty good mob. And the first time he knew what he lacked was when he looked for a pretty good job. It was then when he sought a position, he discovered that life could be tough. And he soon had a sneaking suspicion, pretty good might not be good enough. The pretty good town in our story was part of a pretty good state, which had pretty good aspirations and prayed for a pretty good fate. There once was a pretty good nation, pretty proud of the greatness it had, which learned much too late. If you want to be great, pretty good is, in fact, pretty bad. <laughs>